Thank you so much. What? She told me to speak way into it. Okay. I want to thank you guys again for coming to the 2014 Chamber Banquet. Um, I want to thank everyone who was bidding. And if you have not given someone a check, Tara is taking up the money for, um, for your auction items. We'd like to get started. And I'd like to call Reverend Brooks Cato for the invocation. Brooks is a is the priest in charge for St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Thank you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son came not to be served but to serve, Grant us, after the model of your prophets and messengers, the strength to approach our lives guided by your will. In the line of our forebears, David, Esther, Paul, and Lydia, help us as leaders in this community to set aside our own desires and motivations in exchange for promoting justice, peace, and goodwill. Help us to see that we are all bound to each other, through you united in our pains and joys alike and deliver us from the service of self alone, that we may do the work you have given us to do in truth and beauty and for the common good. For the sake of him who came among us as one who serves, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I gotta raise this back up, John. Good job. Thank you, John G. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. Hey, hi, hey. Thank you all for joining us tonight. I do appreciate it, as usual, that we've got a great crowd. And um, welcome to the first day of spring, finally. Um, we have a lot of great news to share with you, lots of wonderful awards and people to recognize, but I do have to say my spill first. Um, and I want to start out, though, by welcoming some out-of-town visitors. Uh, we have State Senator Ronald Caldwell is here. He was, uh, he's with his wife, Brenda. That is very hard. Hi. Thank you for coming. He was very hospitable when our New Vision class went to uh, visit the Capitol uh, last month. Uh, we also have future state rep Michael John Gray is here, and we welcome you and thank you for coming. Um, we, I, I know in the House we have lots of local and county elected officials uh, who are present tonight. We do appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to come. Um, so please just stand and be acknowledged, if you will. Thank you very much. Yay. If you haven't done so already, um, be sure and take a look at your program. Uh, the inside as well as the back uh, includes 2013 chamber board, officers, ex officio members, port fest directors, uh, etc. Um, and uh, they deserve a, a, a great uh, thank you for volunteering their time to help better the community, Newport and Jackson County, through the Newport Area Chamber of Commerce. So let's give them a round of applause. Um, if you haven't uh, been to the chamber lately, since the beginning of the year, then you have not met our new chamber administrative assistant, Crystal Worthington. I know she's going to kill me for calling on her right now, but uh, uh, Crystal started at the beginning of the year and uh, uh, had both feet running as soon as she got to the chamber, is doing an excellent job, and I'm very excited that she's part of the, our chamber staff. Now, where are you, Crystal? Yay! Sorry. Sorry. 
And that also brings me to um, sadness again because uh, our friend, Joyce Jarvis, decided to put on her retirement hat at the end of the year. And uh, I, I think all of us know and love Joyce, and I, I don't know what all I could say here in public about Joyce, but she's been a great frontline figurehead at the chamber for many years. Uh, in short, we have had just a super ball up there. She brought me a Sonic Dr. Pepper every Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Uh, she's been a great friend to everyone, especially me, and uh, I would just like to acknowledge and thank Joyce for her service to the chamber. With these pretty flowers. As I was writing my notes, I, I, you know, I was thinking in order of things to be thankful for, and, and one final acknowledgement that I do want to, to say is to our friend and economic development director, John Chadwell, who is recovering now, finally at home after a pretty severe heart attack. Uh, we're beyond blessed um, that he is okay, and I thought that since John couldn't be here tonight, that we would, uh, that I could record him a message that I could text to him. So. How about, on the count of three, maybe we'll all wave and say we love you, John, when I point to you, okay? <laughs> oh, that was a picture. my 11 year old okay so thank you I'll send that in a minute all right let me start off by asking you how lucky are we super lucky and I know that you know we all know that we're lucky as a community we're growing stronger we have opportunities we have progress we can see that daily um, but what I'm really asking you is do you realize that we have something very, very special here uh, that is very rare? Um, and do you know what that is? It's us. Who said that? It's us. Jennifer Ballard gets a gold star. All of us here tonight, generally speaking, we all get along. And I've heard it all over the state, uh, folks that we meet, um, how fortunate we are here in Newport and Jackson County that everyone here can work closely together with respect and trust for each other. With any time we have differences of opinion doesn't really translate to ill will between us, usually, generally speaking. And that's rare. It's an amazing quality about uh, Newport and Jackson County, and that makes me extremely proud, and I hope that it makes you as proud as it makes me. I'm looking forward to what the future holds, and what is our slogan? Proud past, bright future. Um, and I thank you all for being part of the us. And, um, if you haven't felt all tingly about our community yet, and you would like to, might I suggest the New Vision Newport program of the Newport Area Chamber of Commerce, which will be having applications this summer for class 12. Uh, we have, uh, we're about to wrap up class 11 with another 20 or so folks going through the leadership development program locally. And if I could just have a, a ha big hand wave from anyone who's been through or is in New Vision Newport now. We appreciate you. They're taking additional leadership roles, leading the charge on uh, organizations and events locally, running for offices, and we appreciate the commitment that you are making in the future as well. If you still want to jump right in, come and see me. We've got about a dozen committees and services that we can offer, and it is all done through your volunteer efforts. Um, and I think it's pretty amazing that we have uh, such a close-knit community. Um, and I think you're going to hear that theme continued on throughout the night. I'm going to transition now into Port Fest Festival. Port Fest directors are working very hard for the 33rd annual event. 
Uh, it's going to be June 6th and 7th in beautiful Jacksonport State Park. We are accepting vendor applications. We should have a t-shirt design unveiled in the next week or two. We are preparing uh, for our annual two-person golf tournament, 5K race, kids fishing derby, buddy bass fishing tournament, horseshoe pitching tournament, and yes, we are already exhausted. Um, I can tell you that this year's entertainment lineup is going to be excellent. Music fans uh, are going to have a little, uh, they'll, they'll have a selection, whether you are a rock fan or a country fan. Friday night, June the 6th, will feature rock acts, and Saturday night, June the 7th, will feature country acts. We have, we are still waiting on confirmation for our country acts, so you will not be hearing that tonight, but if you would like our uh, Facebook Port Fest Festival page, you'll be the first to know as soon as we can announce that. But I do have rock acts. Are you ready? Where are my rockers? I know we have rockers in this room. Okay, wait, I'm going to do something else with my phone here. Okay. Okay, so, all right, ready? We've got some southern rock for you this year on Rock Night. Our opening band comes to us from Jacksonville, Florida, from where they toured frequently during the late 70s and early 80s, even opening for the band The Who. They created blistering, memorable rock and roll, and with songs like Highway Song and Train Train, the band is, who said it, Blackfoot. They're going to be the opening act at Port Fest on June the 6th. And just a minute, now I know some of you that are in the country are confused, but just a second. All right, headlining on Friday at Port Fest is another southern rock band of the 70s that was formed in South Carolina. The group gained recognition through a tour with the Allman Brothers Band and found significant success during the course of the 70s. Most of their albums went gold thanks to songs like Can't You See, Fire on the Mountain, their peak came with a million-selling album, Carolina Dreams, and Hurtin' in a Love Song, in 1977. Since then, they have recorded and entertained fans around the world, coming to Port Fest as head headliner June the 6th, the Marshall Tucker Band. <laughs> and, and while I'm practicing with my phone, so in every Port Fest meeting when we're discussing entertainment, I know a lot of songs, and, and, and just like you, you probably don't recognize the names of the songs, but if you heard the song, you would know it. In my head, I sing them at, I sing them out loud at our Port Fest meetings, and in my head, it sounds just like the artist. And they're going, well, I don't, I don't know. So what I did was, I recorded on my phone, if I can make it work. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Okay, so here's a little bit of Blackfoot. Ready? This is the next one. Yeah, you remember that? Got it? Okay, so let's, for those of you still confused about Marshall Tucker, here you go. <laughs> brought a lighter. This was on, one of the contestants on The Voice performed this last week. Okay, here's another one from Marshall Tucker Band. I didn't do as long of a snippet. Okay, one more. This is their most famous song, most popular million selling single. Oh, not that one. I need Jessica. So sing it, Amy. <laughs> All right, so there's your entertainment for Friday night at Poor Fest. Okay. Country lineup is going to be announced soon, um, and don't forget to like the Facebook uh, uh, Port Fest Festival page. Um, I, I'm looking back at my notes, and y'all, I am so sorry I wrote 
I, this is what I get for writing on my typed print, but I failed to recognize that we have um, someone representing uh, Mark Pryor's office here, Senator Mark Pryor's office, and Mr. Frank Bateman has joined us from out of town. Thank you so much for coming. Y'all please stop and say hello to our visitors when this is over. Right now we're going to get underway with an exciting portion of the uh, Chamber Banquet, and that is the presentation of the awards. Gina? Good evening. I'm Gina Slagley. I'm with the Newport Independent, and I'm a member of the committee to select the Jackson County Farm Family of the Year each year. Um, Julie asked me to kind of explain a little bit about who makes up that committee, and the Committee for Farm Family is made up of 14 members who come together um, from our county's government farm agencies, ag lenders, farm equipment dealers, gr grain elevators, of course media representatives, and com other community organizations. And each year we nominate as many families as we desire, and then we each select, um, or we each, then each nominee's activities are pretty well discussed and gone over and before we take a vote and we select one family to be named. And tonight we recognize the 2013 Jackson County Farm Families of Gus and Glenn Graham. Got this up <laughs> I'm Frank Peggy. I am a member of the Tourism Committee of the Chamber of Commerce. Now, this is a voluntary committee. In other words, they ask you to, you know, would you like to serve on a certain committee? So I volunteered. Been on it for several years now. We meet monthly. And about in July, we met, and Phil McDonald said, you know, we need to do something special this year. And I said, what? He said, I'm going to invite somebody from Blindville to come over and show us a video of what they're doing over there with their Christmas tree lights. They have 40 acres in the old Air Force Base there in Blindville that they put their Christmas tree lights, have it going. It's, it's really a marvelous. So the man came over. And we said, well, let's get some people in here. So we invited the mayor, and uh, we invited Patty Mullins with her lighting of the courthouse. <laughs> we had to get somebody who knew what they were doing, and uh, <laughs> some other people to come in and, and, and just to evaluate. So they did. And we looked at it, and we said, we can't do something like that. This in July now. Uh, so we met again the next month, and we decided, well, yeah, uh, Patty came back and met with us, thank goodness, uh, and, and brought uh, several people. We all met, Buddy Rutledge, uh, I forget who else was there with us. But we decided, Patty said, I think we should do, do some Christmas trees. And I said, how much is it going to cost? It's going to cost a lot of money. She said, don't worry about it. I, you know, I think we can get the money. You said to keep it short, but this is special this year. <laughs> you all saw the Christmas trees around behind in Newport Lake that went from. I, <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> that went from the high school all the way down to the water company. How many of you saw that? Great. That was our project, just to do that. Well, that didn't work. She said, we can do more than that. I said, what are you talking about? We did 96 trees. 
ninety six and if you recall we did them in the mall we did them at the depot we did them at the municipal building several merchants said that they were like some anyway we put these three together we worked on them for three to four months putting these things together tremendous amount of volunteers what you're talking about if you wanted to do something new for it put the word out I can't thank everybody for what they've done and how many were involved it, it would be impossible what I would like to do is have the tourism committee please stand up no applause just y'all stand <laughs> tourism Mark Bowden and Jennifer and Angeli was one of the people that helped us, four years old. So we had them coming out every week to help us. In any event, uh, the tourism committee met and Dr. Sandra Massey, Ward Massey, her husband, the students out at ASU, we asked them to help us because we couldn't complete them. They said, oh, we can handle it, and they did. But anyway, it involved a broad number of people. But we ended up more than just the places that behind the, that, and they're permanent. We'll be back next year. And <laughs> he said, I want to do more. Uh, oh, <laughs> but whatever. But anyway, the tourism committee met. The award tonight is for the tourism committee for the person whom we want to recognize for putting in extra hours, really doing a fantastic job for us. And please help me get, and we had a hard time getting here, Buddy Rutledge. Please come forward. Good evening, I am uh, Henry Boyce and I am the chairman of the Depot Days Committee. As uh, many of you all know, uh, Depot Days started about 17 years ago uh, as a small little festival on Front Street. In fact, it was called the Festival on Front Street. Uh, and it uh, recognized and celebrated our rich musical heritage going all the way back to 1955 uh, when Elvis Presley and, and many other famous uh, pioneer rock and roll stars came through Jackson County. We tried to preserve that heritage over the years. We've uh, gone from hundreds of people to thousands of people. Uh, many attendees travel from all over the region year after year. Uh, several continents have been traversed to, to, to uh, bring fans to Newport from Australia to Europe, from Europe, uh, England, uh, Canada, and uh, we uh, have featured our local talent, regional talent, national talent. It begins to grow year after year. We've expanded the other activities besides the music to include something for the whole family. And this year's honoree has been a member of the committee uh, probably since its inception. And in fact, I know uh, he was on board uh, pretty much earlier after we started. Uh, he does so many things for this community. Uh, uh, I think people sometimes take him for granted uh, but there's probably not a volunteer committee uh, that he has not served on and he does so many things for Depot Days in particular uh, with the barbecue contest, with the, with the uh, security involving the festival and the primary thing he does is he loans us Front Street once a year to have the festival. Uh, the 2014 recipient of the Depot Days Award goes to Mayor David Stewart.
Thank you. Did I mention how lucky we are? I think I did. I'm here to. I'm here to present the Port Fest uh, Outgoing Director Award. Uh, Port Fest literally takes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers every year uh, with all of our um, events leading up to the festival and Port Fest weekend for all of the volunteer areas we have. Um, our Port Fest directors, we have seven or eight who um, get, get to serve up to uh, three years or beyond uh, as appointed by the Chamber Board. Um, they work for at least six months, meeting every Monday at Pizza Hut Buffet, because, mm, and uh, it's good for the stomach. Um, uh, and our outgoing uh, Port Fest director this year was extremely uh, organized, exceptionally fun to work with. You could count on her for absolutely anything. If you got a space on a committee, that you want someone like this on it. And I am so sad to see her go. We would like to thank outgoing Port Fest director this year, Cindy Gowan. Next award is the Community Pride Award. This award is uh, designed to recognize an individual or a group of individuals that have contributed to beautification of our community. This year recipients is a group of individuals who give back to our community not only financially through matching funds, but they also promote volunteerism. They have programs such as Join Hand Day where they join with another local organization to improve the beautification of our community. Make a Difference Day, which promotes volunteering for the betterment of our community. Uh, the Plant a Tree Program, which allows trees to be planted in our community. Funds are also designated each year just for community beautification. These are just a few of the programs that this group of individuals are able to do through fraternal, their fraternal financial company. This year's Community Pride Award recipients work together with not only each other, but the entire community. And the community, uh, the community Pride Award goes to the Matt Ward District of Modern Woodman. Okay, it is an extremely difficult task for the Chamber Executive Board to narrow down award winners to just one, and this year we realized that it was nearly impossible, and here's why. There are two small businesses equally as given to the community, both in their corporate donations and their volunteer hours their employees contribute to the betterment of Newport and Jackson County. However, in 2013, these two, business, these two businesses, who also happen to be competitors, 
align themselves together in the greatest spirit of cooperation and collaboration to achieve shared goals thanks to their common purpose we are all extremely excited to see two brand new facilities in the near future of these two great small businesses please help me thank our recipients for their tireless efforts and the tireless efforts for their common good of Newport and Jackson County as a whole Harris Ford and George Kell Motors Our large business of the year has been in operation in Newport for decades, and there's no doubt about its past or present impact on the region. But in 2013, this business experienced major growth, including an increase in staff, the products offered, and its overall footprint. It is worth noting that in a thriving global market, this business continues to support local causes without hesitation because it cares for the community that supports it. And because of the year this business had in 2013, Newport is experiencing an extraordinary surge of interest by other businesses wanting to call Newport home. I know that you will all agree we owe a huge thank you to the Chamber's large business of the year, Newport Walmart. Our community witnessed another successful collaborative effort in 2013 between two of our local industries. These companies are certainly worthy of separate recognition. However, by working together through major investments in time, money, and nearly 10 years of design and engineering work, a new robotic production line was unveiled in November to industry officials from across the nation. These robotic lines are truly impressive. We are equally impressed with the determination and success of this year's Outstanding Manufacturers Award, Southwest Steel Processing and Arkansas Steel Associates. My name is Robert Summers and I serve at ASU Newport and it really is an honor for me tonight 
to present the award to our outstanding citizen. Uh, this gentleman is known throughout the county for his faith. He's known for his family values, his sense of humor, and he's known for his commitment to service in our community. He's a true Greyhound fan. He's one of the founders of Port Fest. He was a longtime business owner in our community. He's a proud father. He's a devoted husband. Many of you will know him from when he served from 1991 to 2006 as our county judge. Please help me award tonight our outstanding citizen, Judge Jerry Carver. had a true theme of the chamber banquet but I hope it became evident as you saw with the collaboration cooperation working together um, that that generally has been our theme so um, we were trying to decide what speaker could do this for us and we just couldn't think of anything that made sense so for your uh, listening pleasure tonight we have two folks joining us. One is a graduate student at Arkansas State University. The other, an entertainer and producer. Together, they make up part of Three Minute Genius, a, coll a collective of artists, songwriters, entertainers, and technical support in Northeast Arkansas. They're going to show you how to work together. Please join me in welcoming Shane Chestain and Jay Shepard.
Friends are great, but sometimes there's just no substitute for some hard work. She said she's gonna tell you all about it.
This next song is about taking that leap of faith in anything you do.
guys, I saw your guys' motto, and I like it. You know, it's about always trying to move forward and progress, but not forgetting where you came from. And this next song is about having a vision, if you will.
thank you. Oh, that's not about that. Okay. Thank you, Shane and Jay. Thank you for the entertainment tonight. I'd also like to thank our sponsors um, for our entertainment, which were Iberia Bank, Merchants and Planners Bank, and Regents Bank. So thank them for the entertainment. We also have a response from John for our little video that Julie was not texting during this uh, promise. And uh, the response is, I can't imagine any better gift. This is exactly why Newport is the best place in the world. Thank you so much. I love all you guys too. And darn it, you made me cry. <laughs> so I know he wish he could be here, but we're glad that he is okay and at home. All right, I have my closing remarks, and so I would just like to thank everyone for allowing me to serve as your 2013 Newport Chamber President. When preparing for tonight and looking at this year's award recipients, it makes me proud to come from a community that comes together and works hard for our community. It is hard to believe that I've been in this community for eight years and fell in love with it almost immediately. Due to individuals like yourselves that show so much community pride, uh, like yourselves. As a chamber, we provide so much for our community and this is not possible without volunteers that work hard from each committee. I would like to thank you if you gave of your time to the Newport Chamber in 2013. I would like to leave you with this. If you're not already involved with a chamber committee, I encourage you to do so. There are so many wonderful, exciting things happening in Newport in 2014 and you don't want to miss them. And now I'm going to hand the gavel over to our 2014 Chamber President, Jared Bowen. In the spirit of giving, it is my pleasure to present you this little token of appreciation from the Chamber Executive Board as the outgoing President. And with that being said, we are officially adjourned. <laughs>